Welcome to Parker Boat Rebuilding Nightmare, episode number 11. We're actually back at work. Got you some yummy pig's feet and mullet to chew on. If you like that, you have some stone crabs. We're going to do some gel coat in this video, finishing the boat up, test drive, all that good stuff. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And uh, you can also follow me on TikTok and stuff. I have more fishing and crabbing videos on there. Appreciate the watch. So I'm getting ready to glass two layers on this piece of kusa. So I got somewhere to mount my battery switches and my little fuse panel that I got for the stuff in the back. We'll do it outside of the boat. And then just tab it in, maybe put some putty and try to just stick it into place. I'm not going to video it in there because it's such a tight hole to get in, but that's the plan on that. We got something to drive some screws through so we don't screw off the side of the boat. So, underneath the stairs, the steps there, these had these little paper thin bulkheads. It's hard to keep speakers in there because the screws didn't want to hold because paper thin. Made some out of some case I got gla glassed up both sides already. I'm going to putty them into place. And then uh, glass it to the side of the hull, glass it to the side of the gunnel there. Stiffen the side of that hull up a little bit more where that crab hauler sits right up in there does a little bit of that where if put this in should tighten it up got our steps and our bulkheads glassed in one of the earlier videos I was showing where the water got into the deck quite a bit of it was where the bulkhead met the hull and where the step met the hull they had just screwed it to a piece of one by screwed the one by the floor screwed the bulkheads to the one by after hitting the waves for year after year, she just wore a hole all the way through the glass. Just stupid, man. Why don't we just glass it to the deck? It really didn't take that long to glass it down. And now that cabin will not move. The step will not move. It just make a much stronger boat. Took minimal amount of material, minimal amount of time, but just something boat builders don't do because they can save five cents in five seconds. Forget you, you're getting a crap job. Well, I probably won't video this step because it's got to be up in the hole, so just show on the next step of the process. Have you ever been accused of being a three quarter hoarder, or a pig, or a slop, or a mess? I don't know. I've also been told that creative minds are seldom tidy. Got a mess going on here. But it's turning into a nice piece of work inside. A couple of tools that absolutely make this job hundred times better this label maker right here you print your labels off and the heat shrinks and you can just heat shrink them on whenever you need to go do any troubleshooting it's super easy because everything's labeled on both ends you gotta have your tray with assorted fittings this crimper here from anchor also the bomb it does a really nice crimp without puncturing the heat shrinks and last but not least is my hydraulic crimper you can get this one at West Marine but those two I got from Amazon and then I always want to use anchor anchor wire anchor crimps the uh, knockoff stuff is just that knockoff gonna do it do it right 
I'll show you that box over there in a bit. I'm not done with it yet, so we're getting there. sanded down want to do my gel coat and webbing today raining just a little bit outside hopefully it'll leave me alone uh, everyone kept telling me to get a Bomar hatch Bomar Bomar gotta get Bomar everybody go 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 Bomar well, here's your Bomar. Kind of crap is that? Feels like I'm gonna go through the deck. That's why we tore the whole boat apart. Cause I was about to go through the deck. Now I got a crap deck lid. I got an idea on what I'm gonna try to do to stiffen it up. Cause the hole is kind of already made for it. Well, here's my crappy answer to a crappy deck lid. Thanks a lot Bomar for making a piece of crap. I wish I had known it before I put it in the hole. It's gonna look tacky as all get out. I don't know what else to do though with without getting another deck lid and the odds of getting one to fit that hole probably aren't the greatest. I'm about broker than broke. Frustrated this morning Fish prices are down to crap. Getting paid less now than we did before COVID with inflation. Name one thing that has went down in price since 2020. Grouper. Other than that, I got nothing for you. I don't know anything else. Makes me question my sanity on days like today. Well, guess we'll fill it full of resin and pretend like things are normal well this was an ugly heavy solution to the problem but it worked box holds ice real well lid super strong so I guess we'll move on with it so I had a handful of spots that were just a hair low put some uh, aerosol milled fiber on them I want to go ahead and put my gel coat down, but for the one and only day in the middle of the day, we got rain coming. Just what we need. So my first layer of gel coat, we just want gel coat with hardener. Second layer, we'll be putting some uh, sanding aid in, also known as wax. One ounce per quart. And then I made a uh, salt shaker here for the anti-skid. Kind of my little gimmick I like to do to get it down. There we go.
I only showed one coat of gel coat going down, but I did do two. First one without wax, like I said. Once it got tacky, but not really fully cured, I walked out on it and did another coat super heavy. So should last a long time. Something like this on the TV one time. Just remember, just the crab bow. That's what I'm trying to tell myself. I'm gonna make an ugly mess. So we have Ringling School of Art Design right up the road. Wonder what they would say. Probably hire me. The worse it looks, the better they like it. Yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this. Only my wife don't mind. Her opinion is the only one that I care about. Well, to be completely honest with you, I kind of like it. This is how you know it's a commercial boat, not some fancy million dollar rich man boat. Almost get seasick looking at it. That's what I need. I'm gonna eliminate all the softies. 
there you have it folks cool little feature about this boat is i made this top retractable it takes literally a minute to put it up a minute to take it down that way i can slide under the low bridges on high tides Took it up to take it apart. The boat, the truck, everything. Full tank of fuel in the truck. No fuel in the boat. I was at 17,060 pounds. I did have a life raft and a pressure washer in the truck that aren't on the boat right now. Aren't on the truck. So whatever the number shows up on the scales, we need to add 100, 125 pounds to that. Hoping I'm lighter. Added a lot of glass to it where there was no glass. The floor is way thicker. Built 10 times as strong, but I did use a lighter weight material. Man, oh man. We'll see in about one minute. Well, it's our turn next. This has me more nervous than any part of the entire project, to be honest. <laughs> Come on, lightweight! Is the suspense killing you? It's killing me. So we want to be below 17,000. been waiting for why I didn't close the back end. This is why. Let's try to sink this baby. Back it into the sea. Sinking! All you gotta do, hit the gas, that water gone. Just like that, we went from a wet deck to a dry deck. Love those new scuppers. I need my knife. Just got in from a grouper trip. If you want to say thanks for watching this video, the boat turned out far better than I could have ever asked or imagined. It's an absolute mess already because that's what you do with work boats. 
uh, sum everything up. The tie downs in the floors work awesome for when I'm crabbing, tie my box down. Floor is most solid boat floor I've ever seen. I fell into depression on day 10, but man, oh man, am I glad I stuck it out and finished this up. Follow me on uh, TikTok. Once I get a thousand subscribers on TikTok, I want to get a Starlink antenna so I can do live grouper feeds offshore. And it'll be under the same name, Advanced Crab and Seafood. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.